Well, this was the president, Anadoko Kufuado, defending fiercely his anti-corruption record at the Ghana Bar Association 2024 annual conference yesterday. Take a look. That there's a deliberate, politically motivated effort to signalize my government, my family, and myself as corrupt. I suspect, as payback for the damaging allegations of corruption leveled against members of the erstwhile Mahama administration, some of which have led to criminal convictions and others are still being prosecuted in court. In spite of scrutiny by credible public institutions of virtually all these allegations of misconduct on the part of my government, my family and myself, which have been found to be baseless, the leader of the opposition, the perennial NDC presidential candidate, continues to describe me as a clearing agent. <laughs> it is important that I, re I, will, I reiterate that I will not abandon under any circumstance recourse to due process in the fight against corruption. Be that as it may, in any event, I will leave it to the Ghanaian public and people. I will leave it to the judgment of the Ghanaian public and people decide to decide whether it is preferable to be a clearing agent or government official one. That's President Kofado there. Adam Sanano is a co-chair of the Citizens Movement Against Corruption. Sanano, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. The president is clapping back at, uh, at people and organizations that are, in his words, trying hard to tag him, his office, and his family with, with corruption. He says that that is not going to wash because the evidence doesn't suggest so. From where you sit, is there any grounds for the president's position to hold? Well, I'm, 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 of course, the president is entitled to uh, defend himself if and when he thinks there is some kind of attack on his uh, integrity and credibility. However, from my assessment of the terrain, I think that by and large, the Ghanaian society and media has been very issue specific. So if it was SNL, we focus on SNL. If it was a Japa, we focus on a Japa and the key stakeholders related to it. It was Sicilia Dapa, we focus on Sicilia Dapa. It was only at points where, let's say, the president intervened and say he is, and maybe said, ah, uh, I expect that at the end of it, you'll be exonerated. And then additional comments would come up from civil society saying, no, you must be above the fray. You ought not to make comments like that until and unless the investigation is complete. And even at that stage, allow the institution that has mandated to do the investigation and to report to citizens to give us a feedback. Don't be the one seemingly speaking on their behalf and not giving us the opportunity to interrogate answers directly from the institution and ask them the questions that will allow us to draw a conclusion that it was a thorough investigation and what have you. Um, you can't avoid a situation if if his, his, his family, his children have been given responsibility and there are questions asked to the, the management of funds and resources in those spaces. I don't think that there has been an agenda by any group of persons so far. Because otherwise, I am quite sure that there have been many more moments where we all have been talking just about the president. But that hasn't happened. So I don't I don't tend to share the view that the president seems to be articulating that there is an agenda to target him. I think that the issues that have been brought to his doorstep and have been, as it were, raised about uh, family members are legitimate issues that ideally uh, they should take up front right. and deal with. But but I, I just want to find out, has there, has there been the honest commitment to the fight against corruption in this country from the citizens' movement against corruption perspective? 
not not so far not the way we would have expected it um it's been lackluster they've been important things they've done try to increase the amount of funding to anti-corruption agencies like i say if the the gap was 100 million and you've moved from 10 million to 20 million to each of these institutions there's still a gap of 80 million they will still not perform um there's been some legislation but the key legislation would expect uh i have said look unexplained wealth asset declaration political party financing let's stop the large number of people we are appointing as members of the executive as uh, you know as ministers from parliament which then weakens the oversight of parliament by the executive uh, the excessive appointment of boards and, and, and chairman and whatnot which sometimes takes us one year to two years to finish i mean these are players family and friends and then you have a lot of challenges these substantive things have not been dealt with um and and that's part of the reason why we haven't seen the kind of you know, results would have expected in terms of the CPI and other right. assessments. And, and all the others in this. And I appreciate your time on this quick one. Um, Adam Sadanu is a coach of the Citizens Movement Against Corruption. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana Tonight. There's a question that we put to you, our, our viewers, as always, uh, three hours before the show here on Ghana Tonight. A number of you have been sharing your thoughts with us. This is the question that we put on Facebook and also on X and on our WhatsApp channel. This is it specific question about whether or not President Kofuado um, is being wrongly accused of being corrupt because that's the position that he took in that clip I just played to you at the Ghana Bar Association Bar Conference opening. About 659 of you say no way the president is not being accused of wrongly of being corrupt. 29 of you say absolutely he's been accused wrongly of being corrupt. Now let's look at X on our TV3 Ghana on X. 3,190 of you voted within 38 two hours and 38 minutes. 3,190 of you took part in this. And the question is, is President Kofuado being wrongly accused of being corrupt? 18% of the 3,190 say yes. He's been wrongly accused of being corrupt. 75% of the 3,190 say no way. He's not being accused of being corrupt wrongly. 7% of you say, well, maybe President Kofuado has been wrongly accused of, of being corrupt. And that on our 3 News GH page, 81% of you say President Kofuado is indeed in no way being wrongly accused of being corrupt. Well, that's the evidence and the verdict of the people you see right there, here on Ghana tonight. And